Once your chicks are three weeks old, it's time for a mandatory outdoor sound healing. Just kidding, but it can only be beneficial, and they'll warm up to it eventually. After week three, it's time for a little field trip. Only if temperatures are 65 degrees Fahrenheit and above. And also only for short periods at a time. I place my chicks in a cardboard box and close it, because they will jump out as they get older. We put them inside this run we got from Wayfair. It's not predator-proof and I won't keep them in here overnight, but it'll keep them contained and separate from the adult flock. Feel free to check out the review we did for this chicken run. You can also go a lot simpler with a little play pen. I have linked in the description below what worked for me the first time that I raised chicks. I would not recommend it for ducks though, because they are little escape artists. The pecking order can be so hecking brutal. It kind of makes sense when we remember that chickens are the closest living relative of the Velociraptor. As I was moving my chicks around, I saw that my little Swedish flower hen has been pecked in the neck. I immediately reached for this spray, Benex, that needs to be applied about twice a day. The next day it was already way better and the chick seemed not to be bothered by her neck anymore. I placed a link in the description if you're interested. Health checks are super important throughout this chicky journey. It is especially a good time to do it while moving the chicks from the brooder to the cardboard box into their playpen just to do a quick overall wellness check. For more information on healthy chicks, check out this video that I also linked in the description below. If you have an existing flock, it's very important to keep the chicks separate from them. We tend to humanize our animals and think that they'll be all motherly, but remember the pecking order? Surely the other flock members won't be impressed with these babies eating their food and wanting to sleep in their roost. If you want to learn more about the beautiful Sussex, check out this video. I also linked it in the description below. Chicks need to be separate from the adults so that they can see each other, but not interact. Keep an eye on your chicks while they are on their field trip. When they start huddling together or start cheeping loudly, it may be time to move them back in. Remember that you don't want to leave them without a heat source for too long. While they are in the playpen, it may also give you a good opportunity to clean their brooder. At this point, I am doing a deep clean weekly because with 13 chicks, it starts to get smelly really quickly. If you learned anything new today, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for joining us.